Thanks for stopping by. Launch sent me their scanner to check out and show you a little bit of its capabilities. Let's take a look at this thing together and see what it can do. Let's get to it. So this thing comes in a nice sturdy case, which is always good. Well, you don't have to worry about it getting banged around and broken in your toolbox. And it looks like it has a good size screen on it. Got a nifty little stand here in the back. That's good. Make it easier to read or set on the dash, the seat beside you. Instruction book and activation code. And a couple of cables. Your OBD cable and a charging cable. So when you first turn this on, you're going to have to connect it to your Wi-Fi. And that's how it gets its updates and some other features. So you just turn on your Wi-Fi and select it just like you would with any other device. And punch in your password and you'll be good to go. And the first thing you're going to get when you open it up is it's going to want to update. Because it's still with the factory version, these things update regularly. This scanner is based on the Android operating system. And when you go to update it first time, it's going to tell you it's not allowed because it's not coming from an official Google store. But all you have to do is click allow from this source and go back to the home page and it will update normally from there. Just have to do that the first time. Hopefully this isn't going to shake around too much, but I'm going to be showing you this on a 2015 GMC. Um, this is the main screen and first thing I'll show you is the vehicle coverage and it takes a few seconds to load and I'm a little stretched on my Wi-Fi because I'm out in the driveway. Here's a list of the vehicles that the standard package covers. It covers hundreds of different types of vehicles so I don't think you're going to have an issue with vehicle coverage. All right, these are two different vehicles that I've already tried. This is the Yukon XL. And let's do a system scan. And it'll run through all the computers for you automatically and let you know if there's any stored codes or any active codes. Okay, so tells you all the different types of computerized things that this car has and this is a perfect reason why you need a scanner look at all this stuff so let's check out the engine control module and I'm not sure why but any scanner I've hooked up to this car it always asks me what transmission so I have the six-speed and let's check for fault codes And these are two codes that I have with this vehicle. I'm not going to get into troubleshooting it now, but it's running rich. And you click search, and it's going to pull up videos for you just like that. You can find some videos that will help you troubleshoot those codes. Unlike other scanners, this one is bi-directional. That means it allows you to send commands to the computer and that's going to be under the service function and there's a whole bunch of different things here like ABS bleeding so you don't have to worry about issues with bleeding your brakes after you've changed a part this will help you and the computer control the ABS so you can bleed the brakes properly air fuel reset if you're having a hybrid with issue like that if you have a vehicle that has smart charging battery matching Just a ton of different things. So if you want to switch out the type of tire, say you have a truck and you want to put some larger tires on it. Engine power balance monitoring so it's going to let you do a cylinder power balance or a fuel injector balance 
So now it's currently selected cylinder one and I can disable that injector and immediately the RPMs change so it lets me know that that's working. And then I can select different ones and disable them one at a time. So now I'm in the engine control module actuation test. Cooling fan. I can tell the computer to speed it up to 90% and you should be able to hear that fan kick up to 90 I could turn it down to 20% or I can just release control back to the computer if you're doing something where you need the RPMs to be in a certain amount, say you're doing the top engine cleaning and you want the RPMs to be at 1500, you can increase it. All right, now I don't have to hold on the pedal, I can just let the computer hold it at 1500 RPM. and then let it go back to idle. If you want to do a compression test, you don't have to use the key, and I can just tell the computer to crank the engine over. And I can do a compression test. And I can change the ignition timing if I want. You also have some special functions here, the learn functions, if you have issues with these, the oxygen sensors, the brake pedal, or if you need to reset something like your oil life or your fuel trim, it's all in here. Another nice feature is it has remote diagnose. So if you want to, you can have somebody else remotely log into a PC and they'll be able to connect to the vehicle and help you diagnose it. They'll be able to see the screen. I haven't tried that, but I'm sure it works fine. If you're looking for other features for this, you can buy add-ons for this scanner, and they're gonna plug directly in here to the USB port, like if you wanna put in a scope or a multimeter, there's that available to you. And there's also other packages you can buy to cover certain vehicles or to do more things with this scanner. Software updates really simple once you log in and create your account. It'll just automatically check, let you know what's available whenever an update comes up. It'll be there. I just updated this yesterday so it should come up blank. So I don't have any updates available right now but they would show up here. This thing is Android based, so you can go directly to the internet from this tablet as long as you have Wi-Fi. It's going to default to their website, but if you want to go to Google, you can go right to Google and search for things if you need it. Right here I'm in the body control module system and I'm going to go to special functions. And this will allow you to add or replace key fobs, so this will, if you buy a new key, because you lost your key, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars at the dealership. You can just erase all the key fobs, add a new one, and it'll allow you up to eight slots on this particular vehicle. So, I mean, just that function alone is gonna make the price of this scanner worth it. Another great feature is there's other modules available. Has a browser, of course, a calculator. If you have to do some quick calculations, you don't have to dig your phone out. You can do it right on here. You can record video, take pictures, go to your gallery, adjust your settings, get your email. Now I'm in the transfer case control module because this is a four wheel drive and you could test out the actuators if you want right from the scanner. You don't have to jump out wires. 
So it'll tell you what the commanded position is from the computer and what the actuator is reading. And you can switch it right here from the screen. And I can hear the motor changing position on the vehicle. There's a lot more things depending on what your vehicle is equipped with. You can check your temperature, your front axle, actuators, does it all. Now I'm in the heating and air conditioning system. You can check out the door positions and I can tell it to go up or down and I can hear the doors changing position so that way you'll know if it's a switch on your dash or the computer can't control it so maybe the motors bad and here's the technology handbook just tells you a little bit about the software so you can really do everything directly from your scanner the Launch X431 Pro Elite is simply awesome. This thing also has additional features. If you want to buy the add-ons for it, like if you want to have an oscilloscope or a voltage meter, battery testers, there's several different components that you can buy and attach via USB cable here. I really don't have any complaints about this thing. The screen is a nice size. It's really easy to read. I'm sure it's easier for me to read it in person than for you to see it on the screen. If I had to give one complaint about it, it would be that the cable's a little short. It could still reach the center console and rest it up there, but I'd like it to be a little bit longer. It looks like where it connects up here, this is an old parallel printer cable port, so possibly you could get a parallel cable extender and use that here. I'm not sure if that will work or not, but overall, this thing is awesome. So who should buy this thing? Well, if you own a repair shop, I would say definitely get one of these things. Click the link below and check out the reviews on Amazon. People like this thing better than their snap-on scanners. They say the menu interface is easier to use. It makes more sense. They can quickly get to what they're looking for. They seem to use this more than their snap-on scanners. So if you own a repair shop or you're just starting out and you want to do some car repairs definitely a good tool if you're a DIYer like I am do you need one of these depends on how involved you want to get the bi-directional functionality of this scanner makes it much more powerful than the ones that you're going to get for hundred and fifty dollars that basically can just read what the computer's telling you and do a simple code reset. This thing allows you to send commands to the computer. It's going to make troubleshooting much easier for you. So check out the prices. They change drastically. I think this thing's going to be on sale right about the time this video comes out. So check it out. Thanks for watching.